Hey folks, before we uh, get into this video, I want to take a minute to send a message to all my subscribers in Florida. Uh, I know they're going through the exact same thing that we just went through, and uh, I just want to wish them uh, a speedy recovery, and I hope everybody came through it all right, and uh, we'll be thinking about y'all. Uh, it's just... Uh, you know, Mother Nature, she's tough sometimes. But anyway, I just wanted to, to pass that along because I do have quite a few subscribers in Florida. And uh, let y'all know that uh, we're with you on that deal. Thanks. Okay. As far as I know, I have no name for this knot. <clears throat> I've never heard it named. But anybody that uses fluorocarbon, monofilament, copolymer, basically anything but braid, uh, this knot will be very useful. <clears throat> I've had a lot of requests to do knot videos and I never, I'm, knots have just been done to death on YouTube. There's, there's no, uh, no place hardly you can go that, that uh, there isn't every knot under the universe. But I will say that this knot I've never seen. Uh, that's not saying it ain't out there somewhere, but I've never seen it. And like I said, as far as I know, it doesn't have a name. So basically, this knot is for, for treble hook baits. And, It'll save you baits <laughs> and it'll save you money. So what you want to do is take take the line and you want to double it about twice the length of the treble hook bait that you're going to use. And you, you, the purpose of that is so that when a fish hits it and you you lose a lot of treble hook baits because fish hit it and the hooks end up flipping over the line and then they shake and raise cane and it, it ends up breaking you off because of the hooks cutting your line so anyway like i said you pull this you want the, about twice as much line as the bait is long and then you're going to double it up make a loop like i got right here and then you're going to go back up close to the tag end and you're going to tie a double overhand which is one and back through again is two alright now then you got a double overhand knot right there and you wet it a little bit and when you start to pull this up, catch it in the middle of the loop and start pulling and you'll see it turn into a figure eight right there. And when it turns into that figure eight, you know you've got it tied right. So then you pull it down tight, pull the tag in tight, and there's the beginning of the there's the beginning of your whatever I don't know, like I said it doesn't have a name so then we're going to come up here and trim that tag end off then what you want to do is come down and find the middle of the loop right there and cut it right in the middle like so All right, now you've got two free lines. What I like to do is take the main line right at this point and spin it backwards. You'll see why here in just a minute. Spin it backwards pretty good pretty good few times. What did 
gonna do with my little clip. Okay, now that you've done that, go back up here and separate these two main lines. And then you're gonna start twisting the other way, forward. You've, you've twisted backwards, and that's just to make this step easier. So now you're gonna twist forward, holding pressure on the two lines. And basically what you're doing is turning those two into one. And since we spun that main line backwards, now we're not, we don't have a bunch of twists and loops while we're doing this. It's actually going back to its original position. All right, then we're going to do that all the way down to the end. And now you have what basically looks like one line, but it's actually two. And we're all the way down to the end. So then from that point, you take whatever, in this, in this case we're using a, a snap, and we go through, and because you're dealing with double line, you don't need many wraps, and you just tie a regular uh, clinch knot. And in this case, we're going to do three. And then run back through our loop, wet it, and then we're going to pull it up tight. There we go. And we're going to pull our tag in, and then we're going to trim off this uh, these two tag ends that you're going to have since you got double line. And there's what you've got. You've got a surgeon's knot, which is a double overhand. Then you've got your main line, double, twisted down, to a snap or a lure or however you want to do it. You can do a loop knot, you can do a lot of things. But the beauty part about this is, if, you, if a fish knocks your lure over your line, you can actually you can actually break one of these and still have the fish in the lure it is like a safety net it's like a backup and i can't tell you how many times over the years that i've brought a fish in with a treble hook bait it doesn't matter if it's stop water subsurface or whatever it's, if it's a treble hook bait uh, it's easy for the line to get a hook to get over the line and cut your main line but I, I've brought in a lot of fish where one of these was broke, but it stayed where it was supposed to. Didn't didn't get away. So anyway, I've had some questions about this knot. Uh, a few people, not a whole lot, have noticed it. And uh, anyway, I've had requests to to show how it was tied, and this is it. And I hope y'all liked it. I hope you'll use it, save you some money, save you some lures. Thanks for watching.